What's up everybody? It's Corbin Blue. I am actually at Perez TV right now. And uh, yeah, I just came to talk to you guys a little bit about a project that I'm working on with The Day I Died. It's an anti-bullying film. And I know that Perez is very gung-ho on doing whatever he can to stop bullying. And uh, this is a project that I'm very passionate about myself. Pretty much what we're trying to do is we're trying to raise $50,000 on Indiegogo to make this film. And it started off as a conversation with me and my production team uh, after seeing the constant newscasts of this ridiculous epidemic. You have so many kids being bullied in school and then it leading into suicide. Uh, every project that I do, I, I always... taken my dancing and, and I, I obviously between High School Musical, between working on Broadway, between doing Dancing with the Stars right now, uh, I've, I've, I've put it as a huge part of my life and I would never change any part about that of me. And if, if I had let the bullying and if I affect me and if I had succumbed to it when I was younger, I wouldn't be in the position that I am right now. She gave me a call a few months ago. She was like, listen, um, I'm planning a high school musical reunion. And I just thought, I was like, I'm in. I was, I'm, I'm like, you don't need to tell me anything else. I'm in. This is awesome. I don't remember the last time all of us were, were even in the same room together. Um, and it's for a great cause. You know, she's, she's, she's raising money for her organization. I keep in touch with everybody. Um, the most I, I see... Uh, Monique a lot whenever I go back to New York, especially because she lives she lives out there now and all the Broadway stuff that I've done, I, I see her out there. Um, I see Lucas a lot. I see Lucas a lot because he lives not too far from me. Um, and we tend to be in Los Angeles at the same time. That's the hard part and great part about, about it all is everybody's, you know, gone on to have have great careers and, and everybody's always in different parts of the world and shooting and so schedule wise we, we never get a chance to, to see each other but it always turns out that Lucas and I are, are in LA at the same time so I, I see him a bunch. I wouldn't change High School Musical as as that huge cornerstone of my career for anything. I mean it, it absolutely propelled me and, and, it, and it, it shaped my career to what it is now. After High School Musical, I, I didn't want to just do something that was going to be crazy. I didn't want to just try to shock people. Um, I knew that it was a gradual change. Just as I gradually grew up, I wasn't going to try to do something that was out of my boundaries. And I wasn't going to do something that was not, you know, also, I guess, inappropriate for me. Um, 
but I'm, I mean, I'm 24, so the content that I'm doing now is completely different than the content that I'm doing that I was doing at 16. Um, I just I made a conscious effort to make it gradual. So, yes, yeah, so you slowly start to show a little bit more skin. Uh, you slowly start to have different language. I love that I still, you know, there there are people that come up to me and think, "Oh my God, you're Chad from High School Musical." That's so cool to to have created a character that people remember, and I'll always have that with me for the rest of my life. Um, you can't you can't push that aside. You have to accept that, but you also can't settle on that. You accept it, but you then you gotta go. Okay, cool. Glad you enjoy that. What do you think of this? <laughs> so you 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 gotta continue to to progress, and I, I think that you you're never as good as you can be.